is up, Corona Cation? I am here with Corey. No. And... Wait, what? What are you doing here? I think I, I don't know what I'm doing here, honestly. Are Andrew. you lost? I am lost. Corey's normally in this yeah, spot. Yeah, Corey. And I don't understand why you're here. But I haven't. Have seen, you seen Corey? No, I have not seen Corey today. Huh. It's, well, do you know what day it is? It's Tuesday. Right. If you can tell me what day it is of coronation, I'll let you know. Oh my gosh, I'm really good at math. Uh, Sunday was day 92. 93. 95! Okay. You know what? There's Grace. It's 94. That, uh, 95's uh, tomorrow. Got you. But, uh, hey, so, Corey's lost. Yes. We need to find him. Guess what, guys? Wait a second. We're wait. in Carrollton, what? Texas. What is that? What is that? How about that? We got lost. We took the wrong road. Help us find our way back. Okay, so, Kristen, the rest of your crew, um, how about, look, you go look for Corey. Okay, I'm gonna Because go they're obviously Corey. lost. Okay. And I right. will work on getting you guys back from Carrollton, Texas to Carrollton, Georgia. That's a long drive. A little bit of a mix up. Um, why don't you guys host Coronacation from there while we take care of things here and we'll figure all this out. Hey guys, so you know, we decided to take a road trip to visit some family and. We took a wrong turn and ended up in Carrollton, Texas instead of Carrollton, Georgia. So hoping y'all are gonna be able to help us find our way back. I hope you've enjoyed the other videos. In the meantime, I'm going to continue just talking a little bit about faith. So the memory verse is Hebrews 11.1 1, and it says that faith is being sure of what we hope for and faith is being sure of what we cannot see. So we hope for things and we can't see things, but that is faith, is being sure that they're there. Um, so I'm going to share a little story with you about David and Goliath. And many of you have probably already heard that story, um, but I'm just going to um, just talk a little bit about that. So David um, is really confident and he's ready to fight the Philistines. Um, he is one of many brothers and he was the younger one and the smaller one and um, so his brothers really probably thought that they were bigger and better um, but that's not necessarily true so um, he went to King Saul and asked him if he could go fight the Philistine and so King Saul finally consented and gave David his own armor well so he put on that armor and he tried it out and started walking around and he was like, oh, I can't do this. He wasn't used to that. He was a shepherd. So he took off all the armor and he ended up um, just not using that because like I said, he wasn't used to it. And so on the way to fight the Philistines, he picked up five stones from the stream nearby and put them in his shepherd's bag. So um, all he had was his shepherding staff and his five stones and a sling. And that's what he used um, to fight the Philistines. So it's a pretty crazy story. It's pretty awesome. He started off across the valley to fight. And Goliath walked toward David. And um, he was making fun of him because he said all he had was a staff. And that he was a little boy and he wasn't going to be able to fight him. And so um, he said, Goliath said that he was going to give David David's flesh to the wild animals. Um, basically indicating that he was going to beat him in this fight. So um, listen to David's response, though. I'm going to read this out of the Bible, and it's in 1 Samuel 17. And it says, David replied to the Philistine, You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Today, today the Lord will conquer you, and I will kill you and cut your head off. And then I will give the dead bodies of your men to the birds and wild animals. And the whole world will know that there is a God of Israel. And everyone assembled here, oh, sorry, little bouncy in the car, will know that the Lord rescues his people but not with sword and spear. This is the Lord's battle and he will give you to us. So
so David continued this fight and um, he was able to conquer Goliath with his stone. He, sl he uh, used his slingshot and threw a stone in the air and knocked Goliath down um, and he fought with his power of the Lord because he had the faith that he could do this and that the Lord was on his side. And he was just a small boy compared to his brothers, but he did big things. He protected his sheep from the wild animals. He saved his people by slaying Goliath. So I just want you kids to know that no matter how limited you feel by your age or your abilities, you can do amazing things through faith and for God's glory. So I just want you guys to remember that, that God uses us all and in order to have that deep faith we need to have that relationship with Jesus and we are very confident that he is going to walk us through every situation and he is on our side so um, in the meantime I will see y'all hopefully back soon in Carrollton Georgia I hope we're gonna make some right turns and some left turns and end up back in Georgia and get out of Texas um, so you guys have a great week, and I believe this is day 94 of Coronacation, and um, so hopefully we'll get to see you guys in person really, really soon. Here's the memory verse. Faith is being sure of what we hope for, and faith is being sure of what we cannot see. Hebrews 11, 1. All right, so I have Aspen here, and we are going to practice her faith and just show you a little bit of a demonstration of what faith looks like. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, do you trust me? Yes. Okay, good. So I want you to stand right here, okay? Can you see me? No. Okay. I want you to slowly fall backwards. Awesome. Was that scary? Yes. A little bit? Why? Because you couldn't see me? Yeah. But did you have faith? Yes. Because I was there and she trusts me. And you know why she has faith in me? Because she has a relationship with me. Um, and so that's just like Jesus in our relationship with him. If we grow closer to him and have that deeper relationship, we have more faith and we can trust him even more, which is what we are supposed to do. Awesome. Good job. Piper, you want to try? All right. Turn around here. Can you see me? No. All right. Do you trust me? Yes. All right. Fall back. Whoa. Was that scary? A little. A little bit. You trusted me, right? Awesome. 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 All right, guys. You might have noticed my shirt that I'm wearing in our videos, and it is, says focus. That is our theme for VBS this year. And if your parents have not registered you yet, make sure that you click on uh, the link on our website, which is SoHillCC.com slash VBS to register for your own personalized box. You get to pick out your favorite candy that will come in there. Elementary kids get crafts to do, all kinds of fun. Um, you'll be able to pick up your box uh, on July 5th and um, we'll send you all the details about that. So make sure that you remember to get your VBS box so that you can do VBS as a family at home. Now, um, we're gonna teach you a new song. It's called The Church Clap, and it's real easy to catch on. It's just sticking with the beat. So um, check this out. Mother in a church hat clap, man. That sugar gave her color purple coming back clap. Uh, when that whole week beat you up and stretch you, but you hear that organ playing, it remind you of your blessed ass. And on another note, she just hit another note. She was on the spine, got me crying, make me overload. You don't know if I don't know. Old school church hymns, deacons, and the drama, and a verse. Lord, 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 Lord,
type of shows that the Lord wanna see what I mean If I can make the whole church clap it ain't a clap in the heavens and that clap that's a clap clap for a son glorified see mortified the Holy Spirit going word that's his name on the down the sound got trained just burst in the coming out that the Roma singing loud but that ain't what it goes down on the church church has been clapping in weak sermons leaving the weak hurt that was changed by Sunday service we need to serve me check what you be affirming cause the church can be full of members but if the conversion She's gonna try this too. All right, Dwayne, you turn around. Can you see me? No. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. And when I say go, I want you to slowly fall backwards, all right? Okay. All right, go. <laughs> Good job. Was that a little bit scary? Yes. Yes, but you trusted me? Yes. Because why? Faith. Faith. She has faith in me because we have that relationship. So I want all of you guys to remember that about Jesus, that when you have that deep relationship with him, you have more faith in him to do what he's asked us to do. Awesome. All right, guys, we are going to do the cup challenge. A lot of you already may know this game. Uh, basically, you follow the instructions and whoever gets the cup first with your partner is the winner and we will uh, Windle it down to the last one. All right, are you guys ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Head, shoulders, head, knees, shoulders, knees, head, cup. Yes, <laughs> All right. So if, if you have a cup, if you have a cup, find a new partner. If you have a cup, find a new partner and line back up. between Cameron and Aspen. Here we go. Knees. Shoulders. Knees. Shoulders. Head. Knees. Head. Shoulders. Knees. Shoulders. Head. Knees. Go. We're going to do one last challenge for the Ebensberger male trophy. And the trophy is a plastic cup. Yeah. All right. You boys ready? Are you boys ready? Give me a thumbs up. All right. Here we go. Knees. Shoulders. Head. Knees. Shoulders. Head. Knees. Shoulders. Knees. Shoulders. Knees. Head. Cup. Oh! <laughs> took the little boy down! Victory is by Daddy has the, the trophy cup.